Earlier this year, Reddit made a big change to the way developers can access the API for the website. Their solution was to charge upwards of $20 million for some apps to retain access to the API, and it has essentially killed these third-party applications. I did a few videos showing you how to manually patch your favorite apps like Boost, Relay, and Reddit is fun so that they will continue to work. And I'll be sure to link to those videos down below in case you have missed them. But what if you don't want to patch a third party app just to view the content on the Reddit website? This is where a free and open source application called GetIt comes into play. This can be installed via FDroid or downloaded and sideloaded via GitHub, which I'll be linking down below as well. Once the application has been installed, we can open it up and the post should show up just like any other application. But while it may look like so many of the other third-party Reddit applications, there are some drawbacks. This application works by ingesting Reddit's public RSS feed, and then it parses that data and displays it nicely formatted like you would expect. But that's about as far as it goes when comparing this application to other third-party apps. Since GetIt does not use the API system that now costs a lot of money, it means that we end up missing out on a lot of features. For example, we cannot log into a Reddit account using the GetIt application. So this means that we cannot interact with the content that we are viewing at all so no upvoting, no downvoting, no leaving comments, and no customizing your feed. You can, however, sort the feed that you're given. You can follow a subreddit. You can hide posts. And you can share a post with someone outside of the app and website. There are not any ads displayed since the app isn't pulling the data from Reddit's API, and it's completely anonymous, so none of your data is being shared with Reddit either. And since it doesn't use the API system, you can even view not safe for work content as well. I'm not a fan of how the developer is displaying the comments on a post. As of right now, you cannot collapse a comment thread, and it's difficult to scroll through the comments too, as there's no momentum to your scrolls, and you actually have to swipe to the left to view text that is being displayed on the right. But these early releases of GetIt do show a lot of promise for those who do not want to use the official Reddit application and for those who do not want to patch their favorite third-party app. Now, Reddit could find a way to block this type of access in the future, but as of recording this video, it is a nice alternative for those who want a way to access the website. And with it being open source, I suspect it will gain a lot of features with each new update. Get it was first released three weeks ago, and it has already had seven updates that squash bugs and add new features. So I think that the Get It application is a nice one to watch as the updates get rolled out to the public.